my sister sneaks off into the ruins, and I wind up getting hurt. How typical. Stranger, stranger, stranger! I require your immediate assistance. It's not important. My sister Kirith went into that Dwemer ruin, but she forgot to take my new control rod. I built it to deal with the spider constructs that infest the place. She may not believe me, but she needs that rod. Precisely. I do it myself, but one of those fetchers stabbed me when I tried to go after her. Besides, I... Uh, forgot to take the control rod and had to come back for it anyway. Here. My sister has a knack for attracting trouble. I'm starting to get worried. We're dungeon delvers, intrepid explorers, just like you. Kirith handles the manual labor, while I, well, I'm the genius. Together we make a good team. We may be young, but we have a great many talents at our disposal. If you must know, this is our first real expedition. We need to find something to prove our worth to the Academy. Then, the Archmage will have to accept our applications. The Academy of Shadastula, of course. My sister and I, we don't come from a wealthy family. We need to find something of magical or historical significance to impress the Archmage so he'll let us study there. Something old. Something powerful. Something that will impress even the jaded Archmage of the Academy. All of the greatest Dunmer leaders attended the Academy, and it would be unfair to the world to deny me my place among them.
We have an unexpected guest message. My attempts to use the orb of discourse to locate Sai Sahan did not meet with success, so I decided to try a more direct approach. I used it as it was intended and contacted Abner Thun. He admits that he knows Sai Sahan's location, but he will not reveal it. He demands to speak with you directly. We meet again, Vestige. I wish to speak with you on a matter of some urgency. Menimarko and his vile master have dark and terrible plans for this world. If you wish to stop them, you need to find the Amulet of Kings. But to find the Amulet, you must first locate Sai Sahan. Of course I do. And I might be willing to share that information for a price. If Manimarko learns that we've spoken, he'll have me executed. I'm a danger to him. I know too much. Therefore I, Abner Thahn, Chancellor of the Elder Council, Overlord of Nibane, formally request asylum. Do I look to be in a mirthful mood? There comes a point when even a patriot's loyalty is stretched too far, when the things he has done, and has seen done, become too much to bear. Would that I could. As it happens, I find myself to be somewhat of a prisoner, in dire need of rescue. My proposal is this. If you retrieve me from Menemarko's fortress and grant me asylum, I will give you Sai Sahan's location in return. You can't. And you'd be a fool to trust me completely. But the facts remain, you need me if you wish to find Sai Sahan, and I must keep my head if I am to ensure the continuance of the Empire. Neither of us has a choice. Thahn is quite correct. We have little choice in the matter. You can't be serious. How can we possibly trust him? As our visitor so eloquently pointed out, we cannot. But if we are to locate Sai Sahan, we must do this. Go with the vestige, Lyris. Rescue Thahn. Give him the chance to redeem himself. He may surprise you. You appear to have arrived in the wretched squalor, a shantytown of Solshriven outside Menemarko's castle. As luck would have it, Menemarko is away on some errand for the Daedric Prince. The castle garrison is not on alert, so you should only encounter a token defense. The main gate is sealed, but there are undoubtedly other routes one might take. You're the hero, aren't you? Improvise. Improvise, he says. I can't believe we're risking our lives to rescue that skeeving horker. Subtlety and stealth. Let's not bring the entire castle guard down on our heads. And didn't he say this was a town of souls shriven? Maybe we can find one who knows his way around. Try to be inconspicuous. We just got free of this place. The last thing we need is to get recaptured. to buy something? Famazar has rocks, and dirt, and bones. 
It is hard to be a merchant in the wretched squalor. Feed first. That is the fastest way in. Ask Cadwell. That crazy bastard seems to know every corner of this place. You better hurry, though. I heard they just chased him into a building near the waterway. Why am I not surprised to find Cadwell here? He certainly does get around. Sir Cadwell always seems to turn up when we need him the most. Maybe he really is a knight.
I say, jolly good timing. Lyris enchanted, as always. And you, you're looking fit for someone, so uh, how can I put it? Deficient in the soul department? Wherever the forces of evil prey upon the innocent, wherever souls are stolen and bodies shriven, wherever a people cry out for justice, there goest I. I mean, this whole eternal servitude business is rather nasty, don't you agree? Dibella's garters, why? Lovely grounds, no question, but it's positively brimming with angry cultists carrying rather large weapons. I see, I see. A rescue, is it? Well, that's a different kettle of fish, isn't it? Hmm. There is a cistern that drains into the waterway. Uh, the door is locked, but that's not stopped me before. Why don't you meet me there, and we'll see what's what? That might be our best chance to get inside. Leave it to the Daedra to fill a cave with bones and muck. You keep up nicely. I can't abide dawdlers. This whole bloody castle sits on top of an ocean of unstable oblivion, what's it? The Daedra use pipes to control the flow of it all, and it comes out as steam. Well, most of the doors in here are sealed with pressure from that steam. It's all rather complicated, but in a nutshell, if I can tamper with the pipes, we can open the doors to the inner keep and you can slip inside. Well, I can handle the tinkering, but you'll have to keep the beasties off me. It will be quite a romp. Are you game? Onward! Ha <laughs> ha!
worry, this will get you inside with a minimum of fuss. As you please, there's even time for tea. A pleasure thing, nothing of it, the merest trifle, truly. You'll find this Tharn fellow at the top of the Tower of Bones. You'll need to make your way through the Keep's heart to get to it, but it's not terribly far. I understand the King of Worms has set him to the task of inspecting the soul gems that find their way into the castle. Which is to say, well, uh, all of them. You'll see crates of the things scattered around the premises. Indeed? Well, I might just take you up on that. But safety first. I'll stay here for the nonce and make sure nothing comes to bugger up our little adventure from behind. Sir Cadwell came through again. That crazy night is starting to grow on me. Should I be worried? <laughs> <laughs> 